$800 million military aid package from the U.S. to Ukraine. The U.S. President Joe Biden has announced an $800 million military aid package to Ukraine. $500 million will be provided as direct economic assistance to the Ukrainian government. This is following Russia's move to damage the Donbas region now. Earlier, the attempt to capture the Ukrainian capital, Kiev, had failed. Biden said, Today, I'm announcing another $800 million to further augment Ukraine's ability to fight in the east and in the Donbas region. This package includes heavy artillery weapons, dozens of howitzers, and 1,44,000 rounds of ammunition to go with those howitzers. It also includes more tactical drones. This was the response of the U.S. president about the Battle of Kiev. It was a victory for freedom won by the Ukrainian people with unprecedented assistance by the United States and our allies and our partners. Now we have to accelerate that assistance package to help prepare Ukraine for Russia's offensive that's going to be more limited in terms of geography, but not in terms of brutality. Russian President Putin has claimed that the Ukrainian city Mariupol has been brought under control. The response from Biden to this was that the claim was questionable. He added, one thing for sure we know about Mariupol, he should allow humanitarian corridors to let people in the steel men and other places that are buried under rubble to get out. As part of strengthening the sanctions against Russia, the U.S. administration decided to ban Russian ships from its ports. This is in coordination with major European countries. Biden explained that no ship that sails under the Russian flag or that is owned or operated by Russian interests would be allowed to dock in a United States port or access the U.S. shores. It's likely that Joe Biden may request lawmakers to find more funds to assist Ukraine. The U.S. Congress has already approved $13.6 billion assistance to Ukraine.